what we're going to be doing today is we're going to shred a limousine and the reason we're doing that is it's a limousine that we seized that we'd found to be operating illegally and not meeting the required safety standards. I think there's two key messages we're trying to get out. One of the messages out to the industry um, that we won't tolerate them continuing to operate illegally and we will deal with it in the most severest way. The second message is out to the potential customers of limousines about taking care when booking these vehicles and ensure that the vehicles that they book have got the required license. It's a drastic measure and it isn't something we particularly want to do but the reason we're not selling this limousine on is it doesn't meet the required safety standards and there's a number of fundamental features about the way this vehicle has been converted that means it's not safe for the general public to use so we've no alternative but to shred it and ensure that as much as possible of it is recycled. We've done a lot of work with the industry and at various events for the industry to try and help the industry move towards meeting those legal standards and we've been very reassured by a lot of the positive signs that a large proportion of the industry has made but in the background what we've been doing is also looking at taking enforcement action but obviously to take this sort of action we want to make sure that we've been given reasonable opportunities to comply with the law the operator of this vehicle chose not to and we're then not afraid to take this sort of action so today these two four excursions will be going through the world's biggest shredder inside that shredder is one of these 100 tons of steel turning at 400 rpm when it goes through that shredder, at the other end, magnets pull out all the metal, which is then recycled. So you could be seeing parts of this Ford excursion in your new toaster. Yeah, this shredder here is a 10,000 horsepower auto shredder. Uh, we feed it, amongst other things, end-of-life vehicles and mixed metallic wastes. The machine is capable, uh, to give you, to put in perspective, the machine is capable if we were just to shred end of life vehicles, i.e. cars, we would be able to do two and a half to three thousand a day in a normal shift. It takes, it can handle about three to four hundred tons an hour. Well, it's a very, very quick process. It's, it's a, uh, there's no labour involved. It's obviously a mechanic, a mechanised process that the material will go through, the vehicle will go through. The whole process from start to finish will take about a minute and a half, maybe two minutes. Um, it will go up, it will go up the ramp, through the shred, um, through the box, and come out and into a separate waste stream. So the metallics will go one way, the non-ferrous, i.e. The, the engine block, the, the aluminium, etc., the brasses, will go one way, and a small amount of waste, less than 15%, will go on for further scavenging, i.e. sortation. So here's the results. That's 60,000 pounds worth of limousine. What today is all about is literally sending that message to illegal operators who just continue to flout the laws. It's just not worth it.